Services Private Limited ni. Pung kharagi amadi nong magi wai bagi kudong chabasu pijari. Pijari wa servicing di any type of construction, driver and home tutor available, housekeeping and house cleaning, pest control, catering service, electrician, carpenter, plumber, electronic repairing, haibadi, fridge, AC, water purifier, Top news headlines. COVID-19 cases in Northeast rise to 32. Assam alone reports 27. India records 4,858 coronavirus cases. Death toll touches 137. And JCI LPS warns transporters against bringing in non locals to Manipur. A very good evening. You're watching the evening news bulletin. I'm Albina Riyamai. Let's get the news rolling. The total number of cases in the Northeast states now stands at Assam 27, Manipur 2, Mizoram 1, Arunachal Pradesh 1 and Tripura 1. However, Manipur's first COVID-19 case was tested negative yesterday. According to reports, a 45 years old woman from Udaipur, Tripura tested positive yesterday. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deft informed Taking to his Twitter handle, Biplab Deb asked people not to panic and that proper care is being taken of the patient. On the other hand, in Assam, one more COVID-19 positive case from Dubri district has been confirmed, taking the total number in Assam to 27. This patient is related to Nizamuddin Markaz at Delhi. India reported 137 COVID-19 related deaths across the country and a jump of 354 coronavirus disease cases, taking the tally to 4,858. As the country entered the 14th day of the country white lockdown, there are 3,981 active cases and 325 people have been cured or discharged or have migrated. The health ministry's data at 9 a.m. showed. The Health Ministry had said on Monday that people above 60 years of age account for 63% of the 109 deaths that have occurred due to COVID-19 in India on Monday, cautioning that pre-existing conditions such as diabetes make the infection deadlier. The Health Ministry had released data on the coronavirus disease cases and deaths in the country based on an analysis of 4,067 cases and 109 deaths. The trends are similar to reported elsewhere in the world in which show all the people are more at risk and more men die from COVID-19 than women. The group of ministers headed by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will meet in New Delhi on Tuesday to discuss, among other issues, whether the 21-day lockdown clamped to break the chain of coronavirus infection should be extended. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing total lockdown and curfew, Joint Committee on Inner Line Permit System, JCI LPS convener YK Dirent has expressed concern over reports of some truck drivers plying along the national highways secretly transporting illegal migrants into the state on their vehicles. He criticized such acts of the drivers, saying it might help in spreading the deadly COVID-19 in Manipur. He urged all truck drivers not ferry any migrants who do not possess proper identity cards. Mitop Singh Changanba Tinkraba Manipur Gomenasu ILP Pamit Piva Tinkraba Matamasida 
ಹಾಯರಿಬ ಗಾರಿ ಸಿಂಗಸಿದ ಪುಸಲಗಿಬ ಪೋಚೈ ಸಿಂಗಸಿಗೆ ಮರಕ್ತ ದುಮ್ಲಬ ಕನಾ ಕುನಾಗುಂಬ ಡೈವರ್ ಖರನ ಅಯ್ಕೋಯ್ ಮಿತೋ ಮಿಯಾನ್ ಚಾಸಿಂ ಹಾಪ ಕಾಂದ ಲೋನ ಚೇಸಾಂ ಯಾವದವ ತೋಂಗಾನ್ ತೋಂಗಾನ್ ಬ ಕನಾನು ಕರಿನು ಅದುಮ್ಲಬ ಕೊರೋನಾ ವೈರಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಹೋಯ್ಬ ನತ್ರ ಹೋಯ್ದವ ಕರಿಗುಮ ಮಖನ್ ಗಿ ಟೇಸ್ ಅಮತ ತೌದವ ಕಾಂಗು ಸಿಂಗಸಿ ಸಿಂಗಬ ಲೋಕ ಡೌನ್ ಅಮರ ಕಾಂದ ಚಂಗ ಥಿಂಗರಬ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಸಿದ ಗಾರಿ ದ ಲೋನ ಥುಕ್ನ ಪುಸಿಲಪ ಗಿ ಪಾವ ಜೇಸಾಲ್ಪಿದ ಫಂಗ್ಜರೆ ಅಮದಿ ಮನಿಪು ಮಿಯಾಮ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲಬ ಸಿಂಗಸಿ ಪುಸಲ ಎ ಹೈಬ ಗಿ ಲಾ ಎ ಹೈಬ ಗಿ ಕುದಮ ಜಾಂಗ ಮೋಯನ ಅಂಗರಾಂಗ ನಾನ್ ದುಮಲಬ ಮಾವು ಗೇತ ಮನಿಪು ಪುಲಿಸ್ ನ ದುಮಲಬ ಮಿತೋಕ ಮಿಯಾನ್ ಚಾತ್ರಾನಿ ಥೋಯಮಸು ಫಾರಗ ಹಲನ್ ಕಿವ ಗಿ ದುಮಲಬ ಚಾವರ ಪಾವ ಮಕ ಕಸಿ ಯಾಮ ಲೈವ ಥಿವನಿ ಹೈನ ಎ ಜೇಸಾಲ್ಪಿ ಗಿ ಮೈ ಕೇದಿ ಗಿ ತಮಜಗೆ Manipur Student Association Delhi has said that racism is one of the most serious epidemics witnessing right now in Southeast Asian region. MSAD President Chinkai condemned the recent racial crime that meted out to a Manipuri woman in Mumbai where an unidentified person spat pan or chewing tobacco on her. Chinkai informed that MSAD is soon starting an online play card campaign for racial attack victims from Northeast India. For this he informed that users can express their viewpoints against racism on the MSAD Facebook page. Mas ni marmo rega nga si koi masana initiative mo kalu zai masi online campaign na koi anti racism anti discrimination ading si corona gi sigi su loi pula pula ga koi na initiative mo kalu zai bani masi online campaign sida miam na su saru ya biu masi hai ba sida koi play card mo khak pai bi daga play card tu da koi anti racism gi discrimination gi adagi corona gi si matan da wahi amom dang khar ga ibi daga masi yesu da lo to biu masi online campaign na mo oina or koi masaki ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಅದರಿಬ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಮಸಾಕಿ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ನ ಥಜನ್ ಬಿರೋ ಮಸಿ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ತೋಜಗೆ ಮಸಿ ಮಯಾಂ ಪುನ ಅಮತ ಲೆಮಿನದನ ವಾನು ಪುಕಿ ಮಿಯೋ ಮಯಾಂ ದ ಕೋಯ್ ತಿಂಗರಿ ಅವಾವ ಸಿ ರೇಸಿಸಮ್ ಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಸಿ ಪಂ ಪುನ ಮಕ್ಸೆ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಅಮತ ಲೆಮಿನರಗ ಫೈಟ್ ಟೋಮಿನಸಿ ಮಸಿ ಕಿದಮ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಅಮತ ನ ಪುಸಲಗ ಲೆಮಿನಸಿ ಅಬಸಿ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಎಮಸಿಡಿ ಗಿ ಸೈಟ್ ಗಿ ಮಯಾಂ ದ ಹೈಜರಿ Manipur Chief Minister N B Ren has decided to transfer a financial assistance of rupees 2000 each from the Chief Minister's COVID-19 relief fund to the bank accounts of people who have remained stranded outside the state during the COVID-19 nationwide lockdown. Union of Associations of Manipur Writers WhatsApp group donated rupees 1 lakh to the Chief Minister's COVID-19 relief fund through Manipur Health and Family Welfare Minister Langpok Lakpam Jayanta Kumar Singh at his Babupura quarter in Imphal. Minister Jayanta Kumar lauded the association for the kind gesture. He said the relief fund and initiative of Chief Minister N Birain will be used in the combat against the deadly COVID-19. The health minister also urged one and all to donate to the relief fund. Mewe ki khunai se si sundar bhutil bhai se mase dagi mewe khunai je kanno hona goda honorable chief minister ki lai ron kal ki magi relief fund da matin pamun traina dagi dagi wakhan khandi dagi ye kum se ni dagi ಮಚಾಲೈಮಾ <laughs> Power Grid Shillong donated rupees 200 crore to the Prime Minister's relief fund to combat COVID-19 outbreak in India. In a press statement, Senior General Manager AK Borthakur said that rupees 130 crore has been transferred to the relief fund and the remaining amount will be transferred in the next financial year 2020-2021. Fence construction work along Moray and Indo Myanmar border which started last month at 45 locations continue today under the supervision of Tangnopal Superintendent of Police TH Bikramzit additional superintendent of police operations KH Krishna Tombi and additional superintendent of police Moray operations M Amit also erected a wooden barricade at border pillar number 77 This time Myanmar authority did not interfere in the fence erection work our correspondent reports
Lema Pokpam Jilat Parishad member L. Jiten Maite distributed edible items to around 800 households of Ishok village during the COVID-19 lockdown through four local clubs of Ishok. In the wake of deadly COVID-19 pandemic which led to nationwide lockdown, people have been deprived of essential items including medicines, face masks and hand sanitizers. One Mutum Toibi of Hojai Goranagarin Assam has been making face masks at home. Talking to our channel, she said that she will distribute the masks to public free of cost. See, in a Marks to his hair, Karuna, Sigi, the Bagta, Nakong, the Bagita, the Mask to Zari, a Samson Yom Marks to Zare, she was in pre the Zerbani, Yam Gita Makta, Nakong, the Bagita Bagtani. Workers of 33 by 25 polling station High Rock Part 3 Youth Congress distributed edible items to around 300 households covered by the polling station. Social distancing was properly maintained during the distribution. Various parts of Lilong Municipal Council in Fal West Ward No. 6 were sanitized today with disinfectants. Ward Councillor and Vice Chairperson of the Council said that this was the second sanitization program organized in the Council area. Nambal Municipal Council Chairperson C.H. Basanta distributed edible commodities to household of Nambal Municipal Council Ward No. 9 during the total lockdown. The chairperson went door to door and distributed the edible items. Considering the hardships faced by many daily wage earners in Hosai district of Assam during the ongoing curfew and total lockdown, the Assam Manipuri Sahitya Parishat Hosai District Committee along with all Assam Manipuri Students Union AMSU, Hosai District Committee today distributed essential food items to residents of Hosai. All Tribal Rights Protection Forum Manipur said it has learned from various reliable sources including social media that the required and other food items were not distributed in the Hill District as promised by the Chief Minister and Biren Singh. The Chief Minister has given assurance that 4 kgs of rice per head would be provided to all the house of the state to relieve from the food problem caused by the nationwide lockdown to fight the COVID-19. A family with five members is entitled to get 20 kgs per month with other food items like dal, oil, pulses, sugar, etc. However, the concerned MLAs, ADCs, Russian agents and other concerned authorities have failed to provide the entitled shares of the citizens, the release said. The appeal to the Chief Minister, MLAs, ADCs, agents and all concerned authorities to look into the matter and monitor the distribution of relief materials so that the deserving individuals are not deprived of their right to life in such difficult situation. Manipur People's Party MPP has condoled the sudden demise of former party president and former Manipur Assembly Speaker Dr. Laisangthem Chandramani. In a press release, MPP General Secretary L. Sanjoy said that Chandramani's death is a great loss for the people of Manipur. In order to ensure availability of vegetables to the public during the total lockdown and curfew, farmers, producer, company and organic outlet Sanjantong under Manipur Organic Mission Azansi today distributed organic vegetables to orphanage home at Terra Bazaar Imphal, Correction Home, DE Addiction Center and All Age Home, Mongsagai Makalekai Imphal. Indigenous People Association of Kanglai Park, EPAC, has lauded nurses, doctors and the staff members of Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Jenims Porompat, Imphal, for successfully treating the first COVID-19 patient of the state. EPAC, in a press statement, also urged the state government to make effort for providing sufficient food items to the masses during the lockdown and warn all traders in Manipur against price height of essential commodities. Now we have a short commercial break. Stay tuned for more updates.
लमजिंग हॉस्पिटल एंड मेडिकल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नौजिक खुदों कयाग मीम हॉस्पिटल मेटरनीटी वार्ड पुन कुन मरी हाँ मीमल तौजरगनी हॉस्पिटल अटोप डिपार्टमेंट सिंह सर्विस लेपनी हॉस्पिटल लाक्षी ममद मखा पीजरीब कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर हाँ एपोमेंट लौबू पेसेंट का मी की हेना लोन भी खाजरी खाजरीब लमजिंग हॉस्पिटल एंड मेडिकल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड रिम्स चाउ गेट कौन भी कैथेल कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर एट टू फाइव एट नाइन सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन जीरो थबक पीरसी थबक चिलहा थीरुसी अदम मयूक नरीब अवाब सिंहबीजरे संगाई सर्विस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड यूमी यामजदे है अवाब ले यूम की दरकार तौबी नेकपे खुदों चाब फंगी पुराई फोन खा दरकार नेकप या खुद चाब पीजरीब संगाई पुरी नौबी खुद चाब पीजरी पीजरीब सर्विस एनी ट्राइव ऑफ कंसट्रक्शन ड्राइवर एंड होम ट्यूटर अवेलेबल हाउस कीपिंग एंड हाउस क्लीनिंग पेस्ट कंट्रोल कैटरी सर्विस इलेक्ट्रीसी कारपेंटर प्लम्बर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिपेयरिंग है फ्रीज एसी वाटर प्यूरीफायर अच्छी चिंब सेमजरी एनी टाइप ऑफ लेबर्स अवेलेबल अकूप मोरल की कॉन्टेक्ट तौबी संगाई सर्विस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड उरीपो तौरंग मनपुर सेवन नाइन फाइव जीरो जीरो वन अखोग कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर सेवन जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो सेवन वन सेवन जीरो सेवन नत्र सेवन जीरो जीरो फाइव वन वन टू सिक्स टू फोर अखोग इमेल आई डी संगाई सर्विस एट जीमेल डॉट कॉम हिदाकनाब संब्रे था फंगरगनी संब्रे पाग ओरगानिक सैड इफेक्ट लेत्रब था हिरम कयाद कानब पी नुसंग लाइको हकचा चिप लाइह अपोम फुरी सम के तोसिल चिंब कया लाइब कानब पी था थकपद यादे अकूप मोरल की कॉन्टेक्ट तौबी संब्रे था क्या गई मन लेकाय कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर नाइन थ्री सिक्स सिक्स नाइन फोर नाइन एट वन वन Welcome back. Young girls and women folk of Uripok Huidrom Lekai along with Uripok Huidrom Lekai Development Committee distributed essential goods to the residents of the locality. The items were brought with money they collected for the Yaosang Festival, a press release said. Adding that the committee has also made donation to the COVID-19 task force. With an objective to help people during a nationwide COVID-19 lockdown, Nupi Weavers Welfare Association, Kam Mera Pai B Office, and UDC have been jointly distributing edible items to people staying in rented houses in Lukram Lairak Part Three in Imphal since 5th of April, under the sponsorship of one Kundrakpam Sarat and his wife K H Nandarani Devi. This was informed in a press release from the Nupi Weavers Welfare Association and UDC. Nine people led by one young lem Sangdiarani distributed essential goods to household under the jurisdiction of Sagolban Bijoy Gobinda SMLUO club today. Manipuri Maitai Association Bangalore it in preference to continuous support for the well-being of Manipuri community and families distributed food packages to about 70 families yesterday in Bangalore B Narayanapura Sangayana Palia Mahadevapura Electronic City Ijipura Koramangla etc Power Grid Corporation of India Limited Urambam distributed edible items to residents under Urambam Police Station for during COVID-19 lockdown according to Urambam Apunba Club and Power Grid Imphal. Tom TV has started a new program Your Voice Adomgi Konzel please express your grievances and issues through our channel send audio or video to our WhatsApp number 9402491494 
or 841-587-5251 or 841-39-560-65-961-292-8757 or 811-908050 along with a copy of your Aadhaar card. Please mention your name and address properly. Be a citizen journalist to bring a change in the state. Get ready, be the first citizen journalist. ไปจะสินะมันบ่ได้ก็ไม่ยอมสิยุ่มๆนี่ก็มาปันทุกปีกันนะนะสักการนะอะไรงี้นะลาวคงนั่นตัวบุตรแกคุยก็สิไอ้
People familiar with developments who spoke on condition of anonymity said others from other countries for hydroxychloroquine and paracetamol will be cleared only after meeting all domestic requirements. India, the largest producer of hydroxychloroquine, initially banned exports of the drug on March 25 to ensure adequate domestic supplies. China today reported no new coronavirus deaths for the first time since it started publishing figures in January, according to media reports. Cases in mainland China have been dwindling since March, but the country faces a second wave of infections brought in from overseas, with health officials reporting nearly 1,000 imported cases in total. China reported 32 new cases nationwide, all of which were imported. There were also 30 new asymptomatic infections, bringing the national total to 1,033. Around a quarter of the current total of asymptomatic cases were also imported from overseas. Last week, China began disclosing the number of asymptomatic cases for the first time. After growing public concerns of the potential of silent carriers to spread the disease. U.S. President Donald Trump yesterday sent out strong indications of retaliation if India does not lift its ban on the export of hydroxychloroquine or HCQ. Speaking from the White House during the coronavirus task force briefing, Trump said that he would be surprised if New Delhi doesn't send hydroxychloroquine as per media reports. Last week, during a call with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Trump said he has requested India to release the amount of hydroxychloroquine by the United States. Before we end the bulletin, let's look at the top news headlines once again. COVID-19 cases in Northeast rise to 32, Assam alone reports 27. India records 4,858 coronavirus cases, death toll touches 137. JCI LPS warns transporters against bringing in non-locals to Manipur. And with that, it's a wrap for this evening news bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Good time ahead. Sangai Services Private Limited Yellow Mida